What's going on YouTube, GSNorate here, so in today's video we're talking about iOS downgrades with the Checkmate exploit. Huge progress is being made by TeamStar in the community, so finally we're going to see some downgrades in the future with the SHSH blobs you've saved for older versions and so on. But there are still things that need to be done, so we're going to talk in this video about what are the limitations and of course what we can and cannot do with future restore and of course with the Checkmate exploit for the moment in terms of downgrades. Now downgrades have been a very important thing for quite a while. If you can downgrade then there's no point into waiting for a new jailbreak for whatever is the latest version because if you can downgrade you can just go ahead on 12.4 for example and be jailbroken with the uncover. But downgrades have never been an easy thing. Most importantly nowadays due to SEP and Basepend which we're going to talk about in this video. Now Timstar posted this just a few days ago. He said quote updated future restore with Odysseus 64 for downgrading to any iOS version with Checkmate if SEP and and basement are compatible. You can see that he mentions SEP and basement compatibility because this is actually quite important. To compile it you need in the correct order the following things. And now I know that many of you have problems compiling Timstar's stuff. I also have problems sometimes compiling his programs because they require a very specific setup and a very specific list of requirements to be met. So I'm going to try to compile it later and put it on my forum if you want it. But anyways, this is an important thing. This means that we finally take advantage of the Checkmate exploit, which is a bootroom exploit compatible with the iPhone 10 all the way down to the iPhone 4S and it cannot be patched, which means that it's compatible with all iOS versions that Apple will release in the future or that exist. So for example, if you have an iPhone 10 or an iPhone 8 or an iPhone 7, and you're running 13.2 which is currently the latest version the checkmate exploit works for you so you would be able to use future restore to perform a downgrade even from 13.2 which previously has only been possible if a jailbreak existed for that version or if a non setter which basically requires tfp0 kernel exploit like a jailbreak existed nowadays it's no longer the case for the devices compatible with the checkmate and this is why future restore has been updated with odysseus 64 support which takes advantage of the checkmate exploit but as you can see here he says sep and basement need to be compatible and a few days after that he posted quote there are updates of the status of future restore plus checkmate as well as shsh2 files dumped from the devices the most important takeaway is that to be able to restore it, it absolutely is necessary to know the generator or hash pre-image of a nonce or have a ticket for an own device generated nonce. So basically what he tried was to use the uh, app ticket from the device, which many of you probably have saved as part of the uncovered jailbreak, which did save that file. But unfortunately, with that file saved, you do not know the generator that created that file in the first place. So what Timstar tried is to perform a downgrade using that kind of a ticket, but without knowing that hash. And unfortunately he failed but he has updated future restore with odysseus 64 support which means that anybody can try in the future and of course anybody can pitch in and help the research now he also posted this quote for what it's worth this is still work in progress i just tried restoring my iphone 5s and it didn't work i will look into it later for now this is kind of dev only a lot of stuff is required to be understood in order to perform downgrades and the reason i'm making this video is to explain that even though we have checkmate which is a very very powerful secure room or boot room exploit that doesn't necessarily mean we can downgrade to any version we want because SEP and basement have to be compatible as Timstar says in here. But what is SEP and what is a basement? Well the SEP has been introduced on 64-bit devices which means that any iPhone 5s or newer has a SEP which is basically a secure enclave processor. It's a core inside the uh, SOC or system on a chip which is basically responsible for a lot of secure stuff and that one is actually like an enclosure which you don't exactly have access to. The iOS sends it commands, it gives you data, but you will not be able to basically just dump it and so on. Now SEP hasn't been publicly pwned ever, so we do not have any write permissions to that even with a bootroom exploit, because the bootroom exploit doesn't allow you to modify SEP or to disable it and so on. And we cannot ditch it either, because the SEP is responsible for the fingerprint, for touch ID, for the passcode, and even for the encryption and decryption of the file system itself. So it's a very important component that we can simply ditch. Now the basement is responsible for any Anything cellular. For example, when you place a call or receive a message or your SIM card connecting to a cell tower and so on. Everything related to your SIM card and of course to a cellular connection has to be done through a basepend. Now, as you can see, these are very important and unfortunately, although we can downgrade any other component like the kernel or iBoot, iBack, IBSS, the RuneFS and so on, 
the seven basement cannot be downgraded because if we downgrade and combine them and of course if we mix and match them at some point they will not work they will simply fail and of course if your device cannot place any calls or if your device cannot power on because the um, file system cannot be decrypted that is a problem so for the moment even though we have the checkmate secure room exploit we still need to figure out a way to basically bypass the requirement for sep and basement to be compatible so for the moment it's still very very important to save your blobs but you would still be able to only downgrade in the future to an older iOS version that has SEP and Basement compatible with whatever is the latest version. However, this is an important update of the Future Restore and of course Future Restore is the only tool we have for the moment that can handle any sort of downgrades. So this is actually a very good thing that has been updated to take advantage of the Checkmate exploit. But for the moment, I would definitely recommend it to keep on saving your blobs. If you don't save your blobs, you will never be able to properly downgrade untethered in the future. Now, Cup has posted this, quote, DSS Checker version 300 pushed with compiling fix and enabling parsing the BBG CID for the newest devices, for example, the iPhone 11 and the iPad 7 generation, which has been released this fall. Download for macOS compiled binary compatible with Catalina. Now, this is actually a very important tool because it allows you to save your blobs for A13 and A12 devices as well. Now, you do need to be jailbroken to be able to save those, but it's still a very important tool because it allows you to save the blobs for even the latest available devices. You can download this from GitHub in here for macOS or if you want to compile it, the source code is available. So yeah, this is a very important thing. Even though we do have a secure room or a bootroom exploit, that doesn't mean you don't need to save your blobs anymore. In fact, it's much more important now to save them because you might be able to just use them in the future with all the updates that we see. Thank you for watching, I am Geosnow and until the next time, subscribe to stay updated. Peace out.